Okay, I'm live, right? Good. So what we are here this evening is to get a recording um, of our catfish that have hash. It started hashing this morning. We spawned yesterday and it has been hashing this morning. So we are going quickly right now to take a look at the um, our incubator system. So like we promised that we'll be going live. And that is where we are now. So here we'll remove what we use to cover the so right here. Right here we have our fish and we can confirm that they have hashed. We can confirm that they have been dropping. You can see some moving up and down. You can see some movement. You can see some movement. So the fish hashed very, very well. Another way you can check for the hashing is to use a small plate and you come here and you check. You can use a small plate and you touch the body of the net, the net and you bring it out. So when you look inside it, you can easily confirm if actually any fish hashed. So you can see over there, some of them run about. Good, good. So you can see they are running about. You can see that little effort made they are running around so they've hashed so on top of this net now there are still fish all over the place so our next assignment is going to be to secure this net and the fish on them into another place and for that very reason we have prepared this pond to be the one this pond is going to be the one that will receive the net. So in line with what I promised to be showing you when your fish hash, after the process that we shot the film yesterday when we were carrying out the hashing process, the next thing is that you safely um, harvest your fries so that you maximize the percentage of them that hashed and you are going to run water on the system the first of all now that we have allowed many hours to pass after the hashing period of 24 hours we have allowed almost six hours to go on so right now what we have is to remove the next and i'm going to be doing that even though i seem to be working alone with the camera here but i will try and do that and then um, we'll put it inside this place so what i will do now is to put the camera somewhere i'm going to put the camera in a place where it can continue to get the video for us while we go ahead and um, try to um, do the work we want to do. So, remove the pan. We use this to cover it when the temperature was too much. 
So what you do here is that you remove the net. You remove the net safely. And then you bring it into this place. So the first net has entered the water. That's the first net we have removed. We have removed the net and on the floor are the eggs that have just hatched. You can see them running about. You can see them running about all over the place. This is their day one of hashing. So we have our exit pipe where the fish will never pass through. So we have the exit pipe that is perforated. So anyone that wants to escape cannot escape, but the water can flow in and go out. So this one is good now. Any other thing you want to do is to just be flushing the water. So we'll go ahead now and do for the second pond. So I'm going ahead to bring out the net from the other pond. So we are here now. What we do is that is why you have to make your operation very simple. So that is the net. You quietly lift it. You quietly lift it without dropping any of the bad eggs inside the water. So you lift it and you go to your water and you can place it. So it is in the water. That's the second bath, the second net has been removed. So that is the net. Inside the place too are fish that have just hatched out. You can see a lot of them under, moving about. A lot of them moving about. You can see it. You can see it. A lot of them all over the place moving about so now we can now go to the third one and then that's is one now we have removed so those are the fries yes. they old so this is the last one now. We'll remove the net also. We'll remove the net also into a safe place. Mm -hmm. This one has hatched very well. Now the ones that have not hatched, but I see the rest here. Yes, so many, that is why more. that is why you have to remove it so that it does not pollute this place. Yes, and put it in another place. So we are doing that immediately now. So you come here, you remove whatever will be an obstruction from there. And then the net is out. You bring it into this place. So we have a place 
That's the same answer. So we have a place where it can enter. That is it. So it has entered the water. All of them are in the water. Inside water. the water now. Inside the water now. So they can stay there till tomorrow without any pollution. They can stay there till tomorrow. I just without any pollution. So you stretch out the ponds and they were on their own. So they are all inside the water. So that is what you can do today to help yourself and help the fish. So all part of these nets now are all in the water. So very crucial that you do it very neatly so that your fish is not polluted. So now you can then run water. The next thing we are going to be doing on the system is to flow water until the whole place is clear. The water is the best for whatever that is here. So far you can observe that the water is very, very clear. You can observe how clear the water is. There's no pollution on this water, but we are still going to flush it by running water consistently into this place. So, um, can you bring the camera to me? So that is what we have to share with you. We have handled the process of um, casting, fertilizing, and now we are handling the process of removing it safely so that you harvest as much price as possible. Always make provision for where your net will enter when you remove it from the uh, uh, bars, bars you have another place you can safely put the nets till the next morning so that you can get as much of the fries as possible, possible. so that is what we have for you today and um, just there is yeah you can see the result of the uh, marvelous job we've been doing since yesterday is gradually coming you know to fruition Good. and uh, we hope it will continue with Good. what we have on ground here it's, it clearly shows that really we are going to make our uh, harvest much it's just going to be a bumper harvest here Good. with what we have on ground here Good. yes so we thank god for a successful uh, first step. step the first step first step yes. we have so good we, results good yeah. result for that first step good so we hope uh, god will seek guide us to continue good. the uh, remaining steps good yeah and if it's possible with us like we have been promising you we are going to keep you updated, updated. with video and um um you will be uh, with us i hope you'll be with us so what we expect you to do is to like the film the video to share it and to also subscribe yes. to our channel so that you can be receiving other of our free videos yes. educational tutorial videos, videos on agricultural businesses yes. and processes yes. that's our highest and be with us today uh, being second of uh, september. september yes sunday being second of september, september. from here this channel we are saying Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we do with this now. Are you sure that you want to stop streaming? Okay.